What's going on everybody? Painblade back here again from server one representing ISC and Tribes Lab. And guys, we are here with the round five announcement for the half anniversary. And you know what? Some predictions were right, some predictions were wrong, but hey, let's get into it and see what we did right and what we did wrong. And what did Bandai ultimately do right and wrong? So first thing, I guess the Akatsuki are over. I thought it's going to be Toby and Zetsu as the next character. So that's where my predictions were off. It's actually Curse Mark Sasuke and uh, Richumaru uh, with no hands. So um, this is kind of a surprise to be honest with you. So um, I kind of like the idea of having another Richumaru. I don't like the idea of having another Sasuke. Now, the reason why I don't like the second state Sasuke is because I was really hoping for something different in terms of a character. I mean, we just literally got back-to-back -back Sasuke's from the event, the SR event, and this one. Now, he does look awesome, and I've always been a fan of the curse state in the anime. And I, and from the looks of it, it looks like he's going to be doing a Chidori. So, perhaps we're going to get another stun character, which would be amazing. But then I'll be running almost an entire Sasuke team. Now, as for Richimaru, I'm actually curious to see what happens here. Because this character could either be another crowd control character which with another silence of some sort or he could be a poison character now if he's a poison character my biggest issue with that is going to be the fact that poison and burn are still not a viable option in any form of pvp or pve yet um, it just takes too long and it doesn't kill so i'm really hoping that they either provide them with a useful kit or they update those those status effects right um outside of that i love the artwork oh my gosh i'm like i'm super i'm super psyched for that and, I, you know, I like the fact that they actually have um, uh, the FG coming back a little bit. Not going to lie. I'm kind of excited to get that out of the way. Uh, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that by the time these two characters are done, that we don't only keep getting Abyss and FG. I'm kind of, I said I'm tired of it, but I am kind of excited for this one. Because I, I, I you know, it, it does give quite a bit of a, a reward. And I understand for Bandai, it's hard to create a brand new game mode. But honestly, guys, it's, I mean, we're like on our sixth one now for these so I think it's time you guys kind of moved along with the FGs and Abysses and make something new. But nonetheless, very excited, super psyched for these characters. I mean, it, it, it does suck it's another Sasuke, but you know what? I'm a big fan of Sasuke's, and I seem to enjoy every iteration except for the Papa Sasuke that they bring out. So I'm hoping this is also really another good one. And if we look here, they've created a brand new tribe for Hinata and Naruto together, which is kind of cool. It's not a very good tribe from the stats perspective from what I'm seeing here. But you know what? It is something brand new at least. And it gives Hanata something new outside of what she already has. So I know a lot of people still like using her and a lot of people like Naruto. So the two of them together actually works pretty well. Might be great for PvE or some new characters um, that or new players who want to use tribes. Um, but personally, I mean, like, again, I won't be using this ever myself personally. But hey, go for it if you like it. The, the actual boost the critical rate and guard suppression rate and dealing massive damage to one ally and giving every all allies critical rate boost isn't the worst thing, honestly, especially if you're going to be using the two characters in PvE anyways. All right, so as we, as we, as we talked about earlier, Flashback is back again. And so here's the thing. Um, <laughs> we wanted... So they, they oh, so yeah, this is also one other thing here. They actually did upgrade the um, friends you can count on effects and damage. And Wind, uh, Lightning, and Cherry Blossom, Killing Royal Delta Team 7 tribe as well. They boosted the damage as well as the effect percentages. So, I mean, if you use those already, hey, power to you. You've got a better tribe now to use on both ends. Um, so here's the thing. The round five, they were introducing a big announcement, large scale update. And I've been calling chat for a very long time. And it looks like I was banging on on that one. Introduction to new content and communication features. Now, the new content aspect is what I'm curious about. But... The communication features is, is something that I expected. Here's the thing. I'm praying and I'm hoping that when chat does get implemented, and it's a, if it's a free character-based chat instead of emojis or, you know, uh, you know, stickers that we can use, if it is free-based chat, guys, I'm just going to say this now once. And I, this has kind of been a concern for any game that I play, especially when it becomes bigger and bigger. Don't become toxic. Every server, try to stay friendly. Try to stay, as we are on Discord, a community that sticks together. You know, don't start becoming a bunch of, you know, so just just be yourselves and be fun and be and be a community that we are. And this is what kind of drives the game, because what ends up happening in a lot of these games is chat features get introduced and people start becoming toxic and then we start losing player base. This game cannot afford to lose player base or else we'll never go to global and we'll never grow. 
So very excited for the chat, also very scared for the chat because of how people are. Um, especially, the, I'm not saying the ones that are on Discord. I know we're all good. We're already community, we're established. But people who are not on Discord and are just jumping in and just causing ruckus, those are the kind of people I'm kind of talking about, right? So just, just guys, please be please be aware of that. Like everyone's everyone's here to play and have a good time, and we, we all want to keep growing as a community here. Now, the new content I'm curious about. I'm hoping is the Tail Beast. I'm hoping it's something to do with Alliance Wars. Hoping to do with uh, something outside of FG and Abyss, but we'll see. I guess that's coming out on the 2nd of September. So, um, pretty exciting stuff, guys. I mean, the chat's kind of great. The characters are obviously kind of cool. Um, I'll be pulling for them. We'll be putting something together. Uh, two URs again, just keep that in mind. So, uh, I've been kind of straying away from using URs as much now because, excuse me, speed is, um, speed is a huge issue. Now, if, for those wondering why, it's because if you want to speed up your URs, you need to get UR speed scrolls, and the only way to get them is to spend Juno coins or randomly get them for 200k from Richimaru Shop, which is extremely rare nowadays. Uh, so it's really, really hard to get your speed up on UR. So just an FYI, if you guys are planning to go all URs like I was, it's a bad idea. I would stick to two or three URs in your team, and then the rest SRs if possible, and some Rs if you want to even go faster. So anyways, guys, this is Payne. I hope you're excited as I am for this update, and uh, we'll talk soon.